Hey guys, what's up? How are you doing? In today's video, we are going to be talking all about viral gadgets and products that I've been seeing over on Instagram and TikTok. So anything that has become viral, I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on the product. Of course, we're going to try it out. We're going to create this beautiful, soft, glam look, very juicy and plump skin and just bronzy eyes. If that sounds good to you and this is first time here, I am Gigi. I love to talk about beauty and makeup. Makeup. and if you enjoyed that kind of content click down there where it says subscribe and also go to my other socials for just a little bit more beauty and without further ado let's begin hello you guys let's get started and we need to put something on our lips because they're so dry these new Naturium Fido Glow Lip Balms are so viral over on Instagram and TikTok. These are beautiful. They already had like their, um, I, I believe, few shades out, but they added these beautiful shades and these are just gorgeous. If you're Canadian, you can order directly to them. Uh, these were sent to me, but these are so nice these are totally dupes for summer fridays lip balms and that's why they're so popular because people are comparing them to those and i agree these has a very thick and nice layer of hydration and also a really high shade. i love this shade the most goji i did swatch them all mm, if you're interested you can check out my shorts video but yeah Goji is my fave, it's so nice. Again, it feels very like hydrating on the lips, so, so good. So those are hyped for a very good reason. Totally in it for that. Let's talk about a device, and I rarely talk about devices here in my channel, but I wanted to talk about this flawless device. This is one of those devices that is gonna help you just remove unwanted hair. And actually, this is very neat, you guys, to have in your vanity, like if you're in a pinch, if you are rushing, you know, you have a little mustache going on and you haven't had time to really, you know, do your face and whatever, this is so nice. I've been loving it. I tried it because of TikTok, of course. Oh my God, TikTok is so bad. It's so, so bad. But some of the things are very nice. So anyways, I really like this guy though. I got it from Amazon. I've seen it at Walmart. So, so many places I wanted to share because it's a cool thing. For primer, I am going to be using this guy by Rare Beauty. Um, everything about Rare Beauty gets hyped for a very good reason. In my opinion, I love most of their products. Not everything is amazing. And I can think at top of my head a few that I've tried that I don't necessarily loved. Her brightening, like her, the under eye brightening, that and I didn't get along and I share my review here. Some people didn't agree with me on that, but you know, we can agree to disagree. It doesn't, you know, it's not that serious. It's just makeup. And so we're gonna get to correcting the face and I'm gonna be using this guy by Huda Beauty. I really like this corrector. Little goes a long way, so do not think that it's a concealer and just go overboard because it is super pigmented, but it's so nice you guys it makes you look very flawless and it has an amazing coverage um more than correcting in my opinion it brings a lot of brightening to the area but you know just ever so slightly that you're able to color correct but you know not too much the um i have a pimple down here Amelia is so so thin which i like because it's not going to get you know messed up and it's not gonna get um no messed up it's not going to affect the shade of your base or your concealer or whatever like you do your light layer of this guy and then you know is um so it's I've been good. enjoying this guy. I feel like it deserves the hype. It's very nice. She has a beautiful tones as well. So you can, you know, have fun. And, you know, if you're deeper complexion, she's just gonna have a shape for you, which is very nice. So 
I like that. Um, next, I wanted to do concealer, but no. I'm going to go and follow up with a tint. And this tint is getting hype again on TikTok and Instagram for a very good reason. And you can see that I have two shades already. Nine, I just felt like it was just a little bit light. Um, I thought it was going to be just, you know, just darker. So I just went ahead and grabbed myself a shade 10. And I'm happy about getting 10 because I'll use 9 for winter time now. I have a little bit of a 10, of course, because it's summer and I tan is so easy. Um, if you wanted to see a two-day wear test on this guy, go ahead and check out my um, my video. But this is such such a nice tan. I'm going to apply it with a brush. I don't really love to apply anything with my fingers, to be honest. Um, but yeah, this has such a beautiful natural radiance finish. I know I got comments like, oh, it's not enough coverage and whatever. It's not going to be for everyone. It truly is not. And I understand. I do feel like it really has very sheer coverage. And even though it has sheer coverage and I battle with hormonal acne and hyperpigmentation, I don't mind. I don't mind this tint because in my opinion, it looks so pretty. So I got the shade 10 neutral. So you can see it has neutral, neutral undertones, which is good. Just a little bit deeper than nine, but not too awful. But yeah, I think this is definitely my shade. And this has such a do. So if you are a fan of this, this guy is for you, 100%. It is beautiful. Let's go ahead and conceal and Miss Natasha Denona. She's really, she killed it with this concealer. Like, I did not think I would love it this much. I love, I love this concealer. I haven't touched many others. I have been reaching for Huda's because I also like that one. But this one by Natasha has such an amazing coverage. It just conceals everything. I didn't even need to color correct, but I just wanted to show you the corrector. I don't color correct with it. It doesn't crease on me. It just, I don't know, it's just perfection. I'm gonna place an order over on Beautylish um, this morning and I said oh I'm gonna pick up another shade because I like it so much maybe I can pick up something a little darker for my face and I can do you know just concealer it's all sold out every single shade is sold out but this never landed at Sephora Canada so I had to pick it up from Beautylish which is very annoying I'm not sure what is happening with Sephora Canada and Natasha Denona but we don't have her stuff. I mean, we have her stuff, but not like the newly released stuff. Let's set our base with our Givenchy powder. I have the shade Rose Royal, and I really like this. You were probably sick of me talking about this powder, but it really deserves all the hype that it gets. And this is so glowy that I need to set it. Like, it mortifies me just to see myself with all this glow, just not used to it. <laughs> and I don't, I don't know, I feel like if I don't set it, it's gonna slip and slide everywhere. I have little people surrounding me all day long that I can't, you know, I can't risk it. <laughs> For bronzer, I'm going to use Westmond Atelier bronzer. Nothing very revolutionary, but if you know, you know. <laughs> this is such a great contouring product. It never gets old. This is in the shade Truffle. You know, it's not very, very pigmented on my complexion, but I feel like it shows up fairly decent. And then if I go ahead and set it with another bronzer, then it's good. Like I like this one by Pat McGrath in the shade Nude Honey. So that combination is very nice. Now for blush, of course, we've got to put on the Givenchy blushes. My review should be up already. Uh, on them. I picked up two shades. So today I am going to apply shade 
five, which is the more pinky one, not really pinky, more like fuchsia, because, because <laughs> these powders are so blurring, like these just blur the heck out of your pores and texture and everything. Like they're so blurring. Just make sure you don't apply a ton. You could go overboard because you may think they're not pigmented. They're actually very buildable. They're beautiful. They do deserve all the hype. For highlighter, I'll be using this one by Rare Beauty. Nothing really jumped to me whenever I was getting all the products to talk about it. So this will do for us today. We'll use Rare Beauty's brow pencil. This is new for their full collection. I have the shade Cool Brown. And this is such a nice pen. I really like it. It's very pigmented. It's not too waxy. It's just really, really good. See, that was like two seconds. It really gets the job done very nicely and is that crazy how things just get so trendy and then people forget about the trend and then you know comes back again and so forth um i posted a mini like just mini tutorial over on my shorts section of the latte makeup i mean it's just bronzy makeup, right? It's been, it's been out for years, but people just tend to, you know, it's trendy, so people wanna do it. I thought, you know, I'll share whatever. My take on it isn't perfect, but it's my take on it, you know? Uh, this is very personal. Makeup is personal. You can have fun with it, you know? Do it the way you like. So for that, I used these two Rare Beauty eyeshadow sticks and I feel like I want to do the same so I'll show you what I did um I know this isn't new but a lot of people were saying like this isn't latte makeup I'm like whatever it's just bronzy makeup like it's not that serious um we're gonna take the shade what is this adventure and this is pretty much a chocolatey you know shade and since we're here I'll give you because I already did my review on this sticks oh my god over there with my nail and i already told you what i felt about them and same thoughts 10 i really like it you don't want to pack a ton because they may get creasy oh, i made a mess but these are so so easy to blend at least the two colors that i got i'm gonna have to clean it with a wipe here um the two colors that i got they're very easy to blend. I see some people having problems with the more berry shade. I saw that, but I, I never picked up that shade, so I wouldn't know. And these don't really crease on me. I don't have oily lids. These, like you put them on and they're there for the whole day. Like until I remove my makeup at night, it looks absolutely intact. Like you can go directly and then blend with the brush or you can use your fingers. Like it's a very user-friendly product in my opinion, but it's very, very soft. So you do want to be careful with it. I feel like these are beautiful and they're so easy to just apply, slap and go. I love them. And look how beautiful. It's just so soft but it makes a statement, you know, the bronzy shade. I have one from Victoria Beckham, one of her sticks, and these are pretty much dupes. The color is not the same, that's why I didn't share a swatch, but I feel like the formula, it does the same thing, and this is a fraction of the price, so that's why I praise, and I love Rare Beauty, and I share so much from them, because I just feel like they have a great, great brand going on and they deserve the hype in my opinion so um i wish that i picked up integrity to be honest and then they released these pencils which are also very nice and long wearing you can smudge them you know to do a little wink and 
And then I'm gonna use that brown in my lower lash just to make it a little bit more sexy and bronzy. I always need my inner corner to be bright. So I'm just picking out this loose highlighter. I'm just gonna place it right here. I love the look of like the gold and the bronze. That was an email. Rude. Next up, we'll talk about One Code by Huda Beauty. And this is her latest mascara. This is also getting a ton of buzz over on socials. And for very good reason. Like, it's a very nice, very nice volumizing, lengthening mascara. I feel like now it's even better than when I tried it the first time for the review. I'm looking for my puff. But friends, be warned, you need you need to really set down your under eyes, like almost bake them because if you don't do, it smudges a bit. It really does. It did not do on my review and I didn't mention that because it never did. But after trying it and having more natural makeup and having this tint and maybe a more hydrating concealer, you know, many factors will determine how mascara applies and performs. And so after a week or so of trying it, I feel like setting really, really good my under eyes is the best. But this is such a nice, such a nice product. I, I love it. So let me shut up and just apply the mascara. It gets a little clumpy too, so if that's not for you, you're warned. <laughs> like, look, so that was one freaking code. I mean, I, I know I have long lashes and uh, I should be back in. And like some people were saying, well, you already have long lashes, like you've had tiny lashes. It's not gonna look like that. Like on her, um, on her promo pictures, she has short lashes, curl lashes, like, like you know, the lashes that go like that, every single lash. And you can sort of see what your lashes will look like with something like this, according to, you know, her. And she says that the pictures are untouched. Who knows? Um, this is one code, and I'm not going to do a second. You see, like, it, it's really a one code mascara. But yeah, the bottom, sometimes it gets a little clumpy. So I have to like clean out a bit. It's a little bit of a high maintenance mascara, but I'm willing to make it work like, like that. It just it looks amazing, you see? And look at the face. Look at the face, friends. These products. Mm -hmm. They're very nice. Now for lips, we're going to be talking about Charlotte's uh, latest lip moment. These are her lip blurs. I have a review on this. This one is Nut Blur. And this is going to go perfect with my top and everything. Uh, this is very warm tone. If you pot it, you're gonna get that blurred out effect that it looks very nice on the lips like it really conceals every line on the lips and it looks so beautiful i don't want to pack it on today i'm just gonna leave it like this because i feel like it looks beautiful the shade is also makeup is makeup being is all beautiful now we are going to be talking about a viral perfume so this is the perfume that i want to share and jacqueline hill just made this viral everyone is nuts just looking for it i believe she wore it on her wedding day or something and she she keeps raving about it. She keeps talking about how her now hubby is obsessed with the scent and whenever she's not wearing it, he's like, where is 1111? Why aren't you wearing it? And I'm like, huh, oh, girl, I want that. So let me try it out. This guy is a simple yet bold unisex blend inspired by the teaching of yoga, some sort of yoga, and the color white. It's a sheer 
clean and uplifting fragrance with an ethereal vibe. Guys, I tell you, when I read the notes and everything about it, I just, I, I purchased it immediately. I did not know that they shipped to Canada. If you buy it directly from this side, you could totally do that if you're Canadian. If not, I'll link it below if you're in the States, Old has and some other stores has them. Um, this is the packaging. It is a beautiful, very thick box. And then you get the notes and everything, like a little paper up here with what I just read. And then the bottle will be just housed. This is the bottle. We get 1.7 fluid ounces. It's completely transparent. And I've been wearing it. It's been, I don't know. A week I can't stop guys this is it's not bueno because it's so beautiful this is aquatic it is soothing it is just the right amount of sweet but it's so unisex like I would love a guy to smell like this and I love myself smelling like it too so it's such a weird blend but it just somehow it works it is powdery it is woody it is very aquatic very relaxing very clean very not really soapy but clean just a little bit sweet unisex beautiful like yesterday I applied a ton I applied a ton in the back of my head because I love to just like you know after I have my hair up you know just move around my neck and just you know smell it I can smell this bad boy at the end of the day and I was so so pleased I was so pleased because I knew that this was gonna be so light that it would not uh it would not last on me but this one has a good I don't know. I said the projection will be like, you know, three to four hours. I don't think the projection is so big. It's just done okay. It becomes a skin scent, you know, it's one of those. But I was okay with that. I, I figured that much. You just need to overspray. That's the thing. And I keep spraying because it's just so nice. It really is. So, yeah, if you want to smell like, I don't know, like super crisp, aquatic, laundry airy goodness give it a sniff if you're at ulta give it a I sniff i already put two friends onto it and they're loving it too so it's such an easy scent totally worth the hype tiktok did it again jacqueline hill she did it again i would not i don't really follow anything that she talks about but when it comes to perfumes for some reason i'm gonna show you another one that she talked about i safe blind bought it and I love it hold on this guy she knows she knows her perfumes she knows her stuff she has a very nice taste this has become my favorite summer scent ever this is so nice like I remember they released Versace released a purple one and I said oh let me try the newest like why would I get the blue the blue is, is old no girl <laughs> just stick with the blue this is stunning all right friends this is our complete look skin looks juicy plump beautiful extremely hydrated very very natural i love all the blurring products that i applied today i feel like it just i just look my best i love it i love this look i love the bronzy i love you know how the top goes with it i think i should go on a date right now I other than that thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments if there's anything really viral that you think that i should test out anything that i should try anything that you've been loving for summer share that thank you all so much for watching friends i love you so much and i'll catch you next son. Bye.